Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look at how the Kuat Sherpa 2.02 bike platform rack fits on the 2022 Tesla Model Y. The Kuat Sherpa is really popular because of how lightweight, compact, and simple it is. You just put your bikes on there, it holds them securely, you have your front wheel mount, so bikes have different shapes and different sizes, plus it's very easy to store inside of your garage, things like that. So we'll talk about that focusing on our Model Y here. If you want a full in-depth look at those features, check out our full review video here at eTrailer.com. So the main thing with this is that even with your bikes on, you can actually tilt the bike rack away if you need to open up your trunk. So there's this lever here. You pull that lever, just let this drop down to a tilt. And now look at all that clearance between our door, our pedals, and our handlebars. If we need to get in there, grab something real quick, whether it's our waters, our helmets, our backpacks, or if we need to change our shoes, we can do them right here without having to take our bikes off. Really convenient. Now, if you do need to take your bikes off, that's also convenient too. There's two touch points. The first is our front wheel mount, holding our bike by the front wheel. And then we have our rear wheel strap, which we start that when we need to take our bike off. You press the lever, lift up on the strap, and I like to just tuck it there behind the tire so it doesn't get caught up in the spokes. Then with the other hand, I hold the bike, press this button with the other, push that out, and just like that, we can lift it off the rack. Now, we don't have to lift it too high. This does have a weight capacity of up to 40 pounds. So that is helpful for those slightly heavier bikes. Now, if you have a really heavy electric bike though, this probably is not your best fit. You may wanna upgrade to the Kua NV, which has a stronger weight capacity, but a similar design to the Sherpa. So for the Sherpa, it's all compact because everything folds into itself. You have a tilting cradle with the back, and then you have a folding front cradle. Notice the size though of that cradle. The maximum tire width is gonna be up to three inch wide tires. If you have wider fat bike tires, you are gonna have to consider add-ons or a different bike rack. Now, let's talk about clearances here with our car. This doesn't sit out as far as a correct transfer bike rack. So measuring from the bumper to the end of the Sherpa, that's gonna be 31 inches. If you have a small garage where you need to park into a tight spot, this is a measurement to remember. You also have a shank rise on the rack, which is helpful because of where the hitch receiver is on our Tesla. From the ground to the bottom of the rack, that's gonna be 18 and a half inches. Compare that to your hitch receiver, which is about 10 and a half inches off the ground. Also, if you need to make this more compact, you pull that lever again, but this time it's pulled up and against the vehicle. Closest point is gonna be bumper to that front wheel mount two and a half inches plenty of clearance there and then the length this now adds is gonna be oh about 12 and a half inches so a little over a foot big difference compared to when it was folded down may i also mention how sleek this looks behind the model y that is mainly because of that color scheme although this bike rack is just a sleek looking rack this is actually available in different colors. You can get it in gray with these orange accents, or you can get in black with silver accents or in pearl. They're all gonna work the same way. Fold it up, your taillights are visible, your window is visible, your license plate is slightly covered but mostly visible, and obviously your backup camera is gonna be perfectly fine, especially with that full view around your car. Now, this is available in an inch and a quarter shank version, so make sure you get the one appropriate for your vehicle. It tightens down with a knob, no need to use tools. You have a pin and a lock at the end, making sure everything is secure. So my thoughts on the Sherpa is, if you have a bike that isn't too heavy 
or doesn't have too fat of a tire, then this is going to be a great fit as a compact and simple bike rack. For those larger or wider bikes, check out something like the Kuat NV as an upgrade or the Rocky Mounts Monorail, which is a different brand, but a similar design to this. Otherwise, this was a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 two-bike platform rack and how it fits on a 2022 Tesla Model Y. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. So we can see here how the bike rack moves with our truck.